Now, as you, as you study God's Word, uh, the Bible, there are other, you may see the name Scripture, uh, Scripture, you will see other names, but for you and I, it is the Jesus book. As you study, you'll also, this, you will see, uh, we like to use the NIRV, the New International Reader's Version. That one is easy to understand. And when you study this with the blast, with the catechism, you will, you will find those references in my RV. Now, when you and I study, uh, I want to just make sure you know, in the front, as you look, you're going to see all other pages, 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 and you'll get right here. That is where you're going to see the, where you find each of the books. In there, you will find there's the Old Testament, 39 books, the New Testament, 27 books, all together, 66. And you will look in there. Where? If you don't know where, look in the front and you find the page number so you can find that book. Then you will also see the first, like in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, you will see the book name. Then you'll see the big number. That's the chapter. And then the little number is the verse. And so you'll see the chapter and the verse. That's how you find so you can study together. And so that, in your Bible, all of them have that. Now, as you, as you study, you will notice the Old Testament and the New Testament. In the middle is Jesus. So before Jesus, that was the Old Testament, the promise. And now Jesus, as we'll study, his life, his suffering, his death, his resurrection. And now the New Testament is what happened after Jesus' suffering and death. His life, his story, and for you and I as the church today. So Jesus is the center of everything, but especially his word, the Bible. That's why if you look at, for example, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, where it says that all of the scripture is what? It's inspired, or the word I love there. It is God breathed. And if you look as we study together in Genesis, the first time God breathed was into Adam, when he breathed life and the man became alive. That is God's word right here. His breath he put in there. So as you and I read and study together, his breath oh, oh, and gives us new life. So as you read his word, don't think of this as, as his, just words on a page. No, this is his breath that he has given to you so that you may be renewed in your soul and your mind. So as you study together, I pray that God will continue to guide you and bless you as he gives you his breath.